was there anything like that 2001 national championship team? Because you, you especially look, we knew at the time how talented you guys were, but now you look back on all the great NFL careers and all the hall of famers. Like what was, was there anything else like that team you played for in a one? There's a future hall of famer right there along with Gore and a bunch of other guys. Absolutely. 100%. Blake, we're all going in. Yeah, yes. I hope, I hope, you know, but that team was so special. Um, you know, looking back now, we knew how good we were then, but we were challenged so much from our, our coaches, from Andrew Swayze, our strength and conditioning coach. I mean, he kept us locked and loaded. No matter how good we thought we were or what we did, he made sure, like, he kept us humble. And he would, he would work us into the ground. And I remember one day after a game, it was a Sunday we came and we played the Gators. And we went up to the swamp. First time they put us back on the schedule, we went up to the swamp and we silenced them. And um, we were so pumped, right? And we come back, <laughs> we come back home, and Sunday we go to practice and everything. And you know, he lining us up and he's telling us, "You guys think you got? You think you did something? Like we ain't do nothing? Like like what you thought you did?" And he started telling us all the negative stuff we did, you know. And he ran the hell out of us and. It got to a point where he thought he would break us, and we just looked at each other, and we were like, you can't break us. And, Coach, you can't break us. We'll sit out here and run all day. You will not break us. And he just kept running us. And we was running and laughing at that point. I mean, it became more of a mind over matter and show you that, hey, we can be better. And Coach Swayze got exactly what he wanted out of us. Just that whole grit and that grind, basically, just the just the the, the fighting, you know, as a team and, and depending on one another. And he just kind of smiled at us, and he ran the hell out of us. Now, trust me, we ran a lot, but it didn't matter about how much we was running. It was all about we're a team. We're going to be out here if he want us out here all day. We're going to be out here as a team. We're going to pick one, and, you know, we're going to pick each other up. If somebody fall, we're going to stop. We're going to pick them up. We're a family. And that's the that's the stuff I remember. Our leadership started from our coaches. And then from there, you know, you had the Ed Reeds, you had, you know, Andre Johnson, you had the Santanas, the Regis, you had all of these guys now, right? So it was easy to fall in line, you know. You you and we we just knew how good we were, but we know we couldn't let each other down. So we we played for our families and one another. It's like, listen, mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold you accountable. We can go out and have fun, but I'm going to hold you accountable. When it's time to put this, this this you on, you know what time it is. So we held each other accountable. And like I say, we ran – it came. It, it became a point where we could have ran practice ourselves because of all the leadership that we had and, and, and everybody understanding that, hey, this is the one goal, you know. This is the one goal, and this is how we're going to do it. And – uh, I've learned that very early in my career at UM and, um, you know, going to the NFL, being in a situation with a lot of leaders and stuff. But I've, I've known and I've seen what was leadership. I knew what it was. I know what it took. Um, and it just helped my career, you know. And those are all the things we learned on the green tree, you know, you know just playing I'm, for one and, another. And in the game that almost gave every Miami Hurricane fan a heart attack was the Boston College game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I got to tell you something, man. You guys almost made the careers of these cardiologists because all of you, what, what the hell is this? You didn't show up to that game. That's for damn sure. Yeah, and, and you know what? Like I say, every it's something about those teams that's like in your in your conference or your division in the NFL. It's like no matter what their record are, man. They're going to give you a run for your money. And Boston College was one of those guys. You know, Boston yeah. College just. They just had our numbers. And people have to realize when you're so successful, you have a target on your back daily. Yeah. I don't I don't care about, you know, um, who they play. But when you have a target on your back, the University of Miami, everybody, we and they, they cross eyes. We there. And you have to we have to kind of be perfect every game. Yep. If a team ain't win in, in, in 10 years and they and we on their list, guess what? They're going to try everything they possibly can to beat us that one. Like, that's what it was. And that's how hard it was for us as, as a team. We knew that going in. 
that every week we on somebody chopping block. Like yeah. they want us. You know, you have teams that's waiting next year, like, oh, they they circle us. And when you have a target on the back, how you want to respond? It's like you're going in the battlefield. You know you better go in the battlefield, but you have to go in and do what you got to do. What can I do to keep my troops safe and myself safe and, and accomplish this job? Because we know we're going in the battle. We know we have to be at our best at every step of the way. So what are we going to do? And um, we just became the, the the leadership and the accountability that we held one another to. And that's you why know, you pulled the game out because you had yeah. that leadership. 